Update gameplay has been leaked and Galadon gets on his soapbox. Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Yes, you guys, the leaks are real and it puts me in a strange position and I have to really talk to you guys about this. Now we're going to get to this actual leaked gameplay, these images in just a minute. But the crazy thing is, is that these are not supposed leaks. These are not, well, maybe that's a Photoshop. This came from an actual player who was using the developer build live. And so, hey, you know what? Mistakes happen. It happens to the best of us. I've leaked stuff in the past. Those of you guys who have been around my channel for a couple of years, you might remember the old thing called the skeleton trap. Yeah, I leaked the skeleton trap, you guys. Uh, I also leaked, I believe it was the fourth mortar. So I've, I've been known to make my own mistakes. Obviously, none of us are perfect. This wasn't intentional that this player let this information out. It was just a misunderstanding. And you know what? At this point, with the amount of time it's taken for this update to come out, I actually think that little leaks like this, although unintentional, are healthy for the community. It keeps everybody buzzing. It keeps the hype real. And I also have to tell you guys this, okay? I am actually really happy that we haven't seen true significant leakage of the core of what's coming, you guys. That excitement is still going to hit you like a ton of bricks at once when you open up the game and you get to see that update for the very first time. The only thing I can compare it to was my days of World of Warcraft when a whole expansion came out and I had no idea what I was going to see when I zoned into the next zone. That's kind of what you guys are getting prepared for right here. There has been, of course, lots of little bits and pieces of information, some verified like the images I'm about to show you, some unverified like the Chinese characters that were translated that said uh, Night Village of Extreme Speed or the Russian characters that said New Game Mode. You, you never know, those things we have to kind of take with a grain of salt. But these images, and let's get into them right here, these images are real. So the first one, and I'm going to list them in order of excitement in my mind, okay? So here comes the first one, the ship with a little icon above it. The boat is no longer broken, and it looks like that's a picture of the boat on water. So obviously it's in a different state. A lot of people uh, have already kind of figured that the boat needs to be repaired in order to go somewhere. Uh, the captain's logs make that kind of obvious as well. The hog rider and the wizard and the hog have prepared, repaired the boat rather, and it is sailing somewhere. So this is pretty obvious. This one isn't really a shocker, although it is, of course, cool to see it uh, in that state, ready to go off to another land. Now, the next image that I'm going to put up is also something that would be pretty obvious to anybody, and that is after you see an update where content is added, of course, you are going to see those items become available in the shop. So the shop definitely looks different here, and no, that doesn't mean that there's 725 new things coming available in this update. Although there could be, there could be more, there could be less, there could be exactly that many. But that is just off of the developer build. You have to remember the developer builds are a little bit different in the way that they work. And uh, in this case, the streamer had uh, level one heroes. Also with this Town Hall 11 account, they were trying to show some of the new spell levels and the new spell abilities, which of course, isn't nearly as exciting as the other stuff that got shown. Uh, we know that the new level clone spell, the new level freeze spell, the heal spell, those things are coming in the balancing update, but that's not what people are hungering for. That's not what people desperately want to know more information about. And that information continues with this next image. This was perhaps the most talked about one. The picture of this icon now next to a cannon. And yes, that is the home village that we're looking at. Remember again, Supercell themselves use the terminology home village when referring to this base, the base that you've been used to seeing. And right here, that is definitely a unique symbol that nobody's ever seen before and an upgrade cost. And the translation of that foreign character right there, according to some posts on the internet, on Imager, on Reddit, is either modification or remodeling. So if you want to remodel, there you go. I don't know. That right there is a hyped 
image. People want to know more about that. Obviously, there are changes coming to your home village and there is a new land somewhere. So people starting to put things together. Again, I, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that the meat, the bulk, the core of this update has not gotten out yet. I want you guys to experience this. I, I wish I could be a fly on the wall in your collective homes. I'm not being stalker creepy or anything, but I'm just saying I wish I could be there to see the look on your faces when you play this update for the very first time. I'm excited about it. Okay, and before I get to the Gala Soapbox, one more image, and that is this image right here, a new looking cannon. That cannon definitely does not look like any cannon we've ever seen. Again, we know that it's not photoshopped, it's not faked, it is actual, real, in the developer build, and is coming to the game in some way, shape, or form. So while I can't go into any more detail about what that is, what it may be, what these things mean, I can tell you I am still super excited about this update and that's where I've got to pull out the Gala Soapbox and really just get real with you guys, okay? Now, here's the thing. Now, maybe I should try to be an independent third party like a journalist, like, you know, somebody on CNN or MSNBC independently reporting the news and the news only, but that's not who I am and that's not how I built my channel, uh, being completely independent. I am going to be biased, okay? I'm admitting that to you guys right now. Uh, I created my channel uh, as who I am. I'm not acting, I'm not acting any different. Those of you guys who have met me in person or have seen me in a live stream, this is how I act on a normal basis. I'm kind of goofy, I'm kind of funny sometimes. Uh, I get excited about stuff easily and I'm an eternal optimist, maybe to a fault. I, you know, my wife has even told me that, that sometimes I'm just too optimistic about things and uh, I need to be a little bit more realistic. And so because of that, maybe I got myself into some hot water back around the time that Town Hall 11 drops. Uh, if you guys remember that, a lot of you forumers probably do. Uh, I was super excited, super pumped about Town Hall 11 and maybe I helped build the hype too much for what turned out to be a less than stellar release of an update. A lot of people very upset about the way the leagues went, about the lack of Town Hall sniping. Uh, the, you know, the Eagle Artillery was super cool, but it was only for Town Hall 11. And of course there's going to be a huge kickback when only a small percentage of all players can afford to actually grab something so cool as an Eagle Artillery. So. Yes, for that I apologize. I, I sincerely do. I realize that a lot of people were unhappy when Town Hall 11 came out. A lot of balance changes still needed to be made and that sort of thing. So that's where I feel like I need to temper my excitement a little bit about this update because I don't want to sit here and just, you know, woo woo, drive the hype train uh, right into the side of the mountain. I want you guys to experience it yourselves, uh, you know, ideally independently. I mean, you know, ideally in a perfect world, you would never hear a word about this and you would just open up the game and one day there would be this huge update, the biggest update that's ever come to the game and you would play it. And you know what's funny? There's probably tens of millions of Clash of Clans users out there that are playing this game on a daily basis. We know that 100 million plus people a day play Supercell games. So I'm guessing that means there's multiple tens of millions that play Clash of Clans. And out of those tens of millions, an extremely high percentage, probably like 90% or so, don't watch uh, YouTube. Don't go to Reddit. Don't go to the forums. Don't go to Twitter for their Clash of Clans info. And those people, in a way, are the lucky ones because they will experience this unspoiled, just raw, open up the game, here's this huge update, and their minds will be blown and uh, their eyes will pop out of their heads. So for those people, I am truly excited. For the rest of you, of course, you guys are the true enthusiasts of the game. And I know you guys are psyched as well. I just really want you guys to know that I've played this update. I personally really like it. I haven't seen anybody come to me and tell me who's played it, and there's been a lot of play testers. Nobody's turned to me and said, I don't like this update, or this update sucks. So that's my personal experience so far, you guys. You guys are going to have to figure out the rest of it for yourselves, but again, we are so close to the update. I am ready. I want you guys to see the big reveal. Thank you guys, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for early update sneak peek, and of course, daily Clash of Clans videos after the update. 
and I'll see you again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, are you done yet? I slept through the last four minutes of your video.